Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a spring 2020 living room refresh. I'm going to be using a lot of pieces from the Studio McGee collab with Target. And no, this video is not sponsored. I wish it was though. Um, but everything that I'm gonna be showing you today, I purchased with my own money. And I want to show you how a few key pieces can create a big impact in your space. Now, before I begin, I wanna say thank you to all of you who are brand new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every single one of you, especially those of you who are always leaving comments in my video. It really helps my small channel grow. So thank you so much and let's get on with the video. I'm going to insert a few clips of what my living room used to look like. And it's actually the only room in the house that's completely done. And so that is why I'm constantly sharing photos on Instagram, which if you don't follow me yet, it's at Arvin Olano. But basically today I wanna to change the layout a little bit. I wanna get rid of the coffee table and switch it up. I have two chairs on either side of the couch, which I feel like we don't really need. Andrew and I don't really have that many people over, especially during this quarantine. So I'm gonna take out the chairs. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different seating arrangement. And I wanna show you how versatile these pieces are from the Studio McGee collab with Target. If you haven't seen my review in the collection, I'm gonna link it up in the cards and down below in the description box, just in case you want to check it out. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to clear everything out from the living room. That way I have a blank canvas and it will make it easier to decorate the space. By the way, nobody asked, but today I am wearing a little two-piece Gucci tracksuit moment. It's from the Dapper Dan collaboration, which I have a whole video showing you exactly what I picked up from that collab. So if you wanna check it out, I'm gonna link it in the description box. I wanna quickly show you what kind of pieces I'm going to be working with today, which is mostly pieces from the Studio McGee collab with Target. Okay, so here are the pieces that we are going to be using today. Um, a lot of them are brand new. I love these Ottomans, the woven design, so good. The vessel is brand new. I also got two of those woven ottomans, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use with that in a second. The bowl is new. I also got a lot of her pillows as well. Okay, so the last time that I showed the living room, we still didn't have any end tables because I was looking for something that was stylish, but also affordable. When it comes to my home decor, I want it to be approachable and of course affordable, which is why the Studio McGee collab with Target is perfect for this living room refresh. So I'm going to start with these ottomans first and I'm actually going to use them as a side table. Now, if you've seen these on the website, they can be styled next to a fireplace as seating, but in my case, it's the perfect side table because of the beautiful and woven rattan details. It also has the black metal legs and it matches our lamps beautifully. So next, I'm going to work on the pillows. Now, Shea McGee is notorious for her pillow plan. It's so amazing and you can get a curated and cozy pillow collection with everything from her collab. It's so affordable and the colors are perfect. When you have a darker couch, I would normally start off with a lighter pillow first. These are not from the collection. These are actually just from Home Goods. They're beige and velvet, but I love the contrast that it gives when it's on the couch. It's a good pillow plan is all about layering. So I'm going to layer this plaid pillow and a lumbar with what I already have on the couch and it's just going to create this beautiful and cozy feeling. I'm going to add even more print and pattern using more pillows. Now the key to a great pillow plan is layering different sized pillows. So the first pillow that I used 
the beige ones. They're, I think, a 24 by 24. And then I move on to a 20 by 20. And lastly, a lumbar. So those different sizes create a layered effect and you can mix print and patterns and different colors as well. But what I love about the Studio McGee collab is it's all muted, all neutral. Like, look at this lumbar, it's so pretty. I love like the muted greens and the grays. Super cute. To finish off the couch, I'm going to add a layered throw. This one is also from the collection and I just love the colors, I love the print and a good striped pillow or throw is so easy to incorporate into any space because the print isn't too overwhelming and mixing different stripes and patterns is just mm, so, so good and it's so signature to Shea McGee's style. So, throw time. All right, so now that the couch is done, I'm going to move on with the coffee table and I'm actually going to be using the woven ottomans as a coffee table, showing you the versatility of these pieces. Okay, so these are the ottomans that I'm talking about and I'm going to arrange them in the middle of the rug, that way it looks like a coffee table. So in the beginning of the video, I talked about how I'm going to remove the two chairs that were on either side of the couch because I wanted some better flow from um, this room and that room. So instead, I'm only going to put one accent chair on this side of the couch. So that chair that I just put on the side is also from Target. It's not from the Studio McGee collab, but it's still really, really beautiful. I love the color of the fabric and the wood tone as well. I like to add even more coziness to the space by using decorative throw blanket. So I'm going to hang this just right onto the accent chair right there. So next I'm going to add one more side table, which is this concrete um, piece right over here. I love this piece because it's so sculptural and I love the neutral gray as well. It's a great piece to add some texture and some play on different shapes. All right, so now that the foundation is basically finished, it's time to add the decor. So the next thing that I want to do is to add some finishing touches to this little seating area here in the corner. I'm going to add a decorative bowl onto the side table and a pillow as well for the side chair. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to style our new coffee table and how to work with these two separate pieces. So, let's get started. I'm going to be using books to divide the coffee table in different sections. So I'm going to try by doing two different sections, just like that, and I'm gonna use books that match the color palette of the new decor pieces. I like to create balance on the coffee table, so in this case, I'm using two books each. I love this blue vessel from the collab collection because it's still muted, but it matches all of the colors that we have going on, the pillows, the throw blankets, and it has a little bit of a glazed finish, so it adds some shine without it being too glam. You know what I mean? So I added this limestone figurine, and I'm not really that happy with the layout. I think it's because I only have two sections to work with. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna take this entire section out and I'm gonna leave this kind of as a centerpiece. Next, I'm going to add these coasters right behind the books and the vessels, just in case we actually want to use this as a coffee table. Okay, wow, that was it. All right, everyone, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.